Okay, both of you guys are pissing me off. I'm just saying. These guys are a lot harder to hit than you'd think because they bounce up and down. You too, huh? Didn't I just kill you? What the hell? Man, kids these days, I'll tell you what. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. Our map is almost entirely made up of a wasteland biome generated by the nitrogen map generator. And uh, we do have one small green biome somewhere that we have been looking for and so far have not found. We're trying to we're trying to find a refuge in the midst of the of the desolation. So I've pretty much been um, up in the northwest of the map so far and in, in the north central part of the map and all this area that is is still you know not uncovered on the map I, I have been able to visit you know visibly see across the landscape and there there is no uh, green biome so I think probably what we're gonna do next is we're gonna we're gonna cover the northeast um, a part of the map uh, when we go out on our next um, uh, sojourn there uh, but a couple things uh, I want to get, get you updated on here at the base uh, first of all last night I, I did some mining and I found a quad quad deposit right underneath our um, our prison here so here let's just go take a look at it real quick uh, which is fantastic because it's got all four of the ores in it of course and what I've been doing in the mine here is I've just kind of been digging at night time you know, because I don't want to be out at night here in the wasteland. That's just, that's just scary. That's all there is to it. It's just scary. Um, so what I, what I did was I basically tunneled almost all the way down to bedrock just because, you know, if, if the zombies do detect me, um, I want lots of, lots of stone between me and them should they try to dig down. And so I, I was going to, uh, and still might uh, carve out like a little chamber here the you know and probably the main purpose is of doing this is is to get the stone you know for the concrete and get, to get the xp i might do something with this later but probably not and the reason being is because i'm not planning on this being our permanent base right this is just where we're, we are now but we're gonna you know we're gonna find that green biome and we're gonna make a base in the green biome and get ourselves really decked out and then we're gonna go in search of the mega city excuse me, back in the wasteland. So I don't want to do anything too terribly elaborate here, but, you know, just being down here at night gives me something to do, gives me XP, and it gives me lots of resources in the way of stone. Or check this out. So I started tunneling this way, um, and so we got coal here. Got lots of coal. Big old coal deposit. We've got lead. We even we even have a little tiny bit of iron, which will we'll probably open up to more iron. And we've got nitrate, which is fan freaking tastic So... We have all those resources just right here, uh, you know, right below our, our prison. And the main, you know, the main part of the chamber is just on the other side of the prison. Now, the, the coal is kind of under it because you have to kind of be careful. If you open up a, a large pocket of space underground in this game, it, you know, it will cause blocks up above to collapse or, you know, just do some weird shit with the with the SI. So here's some iron here too. So you have to kind of be careful with that, but you know, I'm not too terribly worried about that because it's on the other side of the prison. All of our stuff is on, you know, is on this side. So even if a couple of blocks over here were affected, it probably wouldn't hurt us. And if it did, I would, you know, I'd do something to try and fix it. Um, but nevertheless, that gives us a, a ton of really good resources, um, that, you know, at our disposal, easy to get to, uh, something for me to work on at nighttime. And so, uh, as a result of what I did last night, uh, I've got a screamer. Uh, screamers are a big problem. They they just, they keep coming. I don't know if it's, if they're more prevalent in the wasteland. You know, I mean, I am generating a lot of heat. There's no doubt about it. But, you know, one thing that was really scary, too, is um, when I was down here mining, I heard the screamer, and she was actually, had spawned in the tunnel here. She'd actually spawned in the tunnel. That one sounds like she's up above because I hear her kind of walking on, you know, the metal up there. But uh, that kind of creeped me out because <laughs> you know, I didn't know they would spawn in the tunnel. 
But we have to really be careful with them for the obvious reason is, you know, if they call in a, a horde, remember, we're in the wasteland, so the horde's usually pretty nasty. And they, you know, they can definitely breach our uh, our defenses here relatively easy. So, you know, we don't want to, we don't want that to happen if, if at all possible. All right, let's see if I can get up here. All right. Sounds like she's out this way. Let's turn our light off. Oh, I did make a helmet light, too, because we found the mod a couple episodes ago. We need to try and kill her quick before she screams. Okay, she's down. Yeah, um, you know, with running all the forges and all the mining and stuff, um, we are, we are cranking out the heat, so... I have to kind of be careful of that, you know, as much as possible, but I, at the same time, I got to get done what I got to get done. So anyway, yeah, we've got a big old batch of gunpowder cooking up in here. Um, so I'm going to replenish my ammo supply before we go out again. And um, let's see, I was going to feed, I'm feeding iron into here. Let's actually continue feeding the, the junk stuff in here first. And when that's all gone, then I'll start, you know, doing the actual iron. Uh, so we got quite a few bullets in... Uh, you know, nice little pile of buckshot. Over a thousand casings waiting in the wings, you know, for, for the gunpowder. In fact, let's go ahead and make some shoddy shells right now. So we'll take those. We'll just take whatever gunpowder is currently uh, made. And so that gives us 52. That'll give us about um, a, a full stack and one extra, which is perfect. Because uh, I want to take about a full stack with me of those. And then uh, we got a full stack of nines plus 125 more. So we're good on that, but I do want to get my 7.62s back up to, uh, you know, at least a full stack as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do today, uh, and we got, we've got uh, concrete making up in here too. Uh, so what I want to do today is I want to go rent some more cars because we need to start replenishing our gasoline. And by the way, I did hit another level from mining and I took um, Lucky Looter blessed uh bless you know blessed okay so we're now level four in lucky looter uh which was uh which is great i'm also going to take level four in part in uh, salvage operations parts collector uh, because we have the prerequisite on the perception so that way we're getting really decent um materials gasoline in particular and also you know brass raiders and whatnot you know from the cars and stuff that we take apart so once i have have this to level four um I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I might transition over to strength for a while and start bringing this up so I can bring minor 69 or mother load up and boomstick and also skull crusher. Um, Master Chef, I'm not, I, I don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot with Master Chef, but I do eventually want to, you know, put points into living off the land. Uh, I don't know that that's a priority right now, but definitely when we get to the green biome, that is in the plans to do. Uh, agility, we need to. Uh, I need to really start putting some points into Gunslinger. I might, in fact, I might even do that next, only because, what does this require? See, we could get the, the next two levels in this, because we're starting to use our pistol more. You know, we found that really nice blue pistol, so it would behoove us to put some points in that. And then eventually, if we wanted to, we could uh, we could make the SMG. In fact, I could make an SMG right now. It's just that it would be a level one brown, so I want to wait, you know, until I can get my points up a little bit more. All right, so that can kind of gets you caught up to, you know, what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and go off and wrench cars for the rest of this day, get a bunch of gasoline and brass raiders and all that built up. And then tonight I'm probably going to mine some more down in the mine and get, uh, you know, a whole bunch of resources mined up from that. And then tomorrow morning on day 25, um, I think we'll go ahead and set out and we'll start heading northeast. Um, and continuing to look for that green biome. So for me, that'll be uh, tomorrow morning uh, in game, but for you, it'll only be a couple seconds. So I'll bring you back when that time comes, and then we'll set out on our next journey. All right, guys, see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back. It is the morning of day 25. Um, I got a, another level um, yesterday doing uh, salvaging, so we are now at Salvage Operations 4, which is awesome. And uh, I think what we're going to do now is we're probably going to start uh, focusing on get, getting strength up so that we can increase uh, Boomstick, Skull Crusher, uh, 69er, and Mother Load in particular, and, and Sexy T. So there's a lot of stuff in the strength tree 
we want to start going for. Um, actually, you know what, though? I think before we do that, I'm going to at least take the first point in Gunslinger because of, uh, you know, the pistol that we're, that we're using. Uh, so pea shooter and then we'll probably go over to the strength team, strength tree and start focusing on this so we can get these skills up to four okay so uh let's see what's going on here you rent a bunch of cars i got a full stack of gasoline out in the mini bike ready to go um made all of this ammunition here and i'm still making it it's almost done though so uh that's awesome because we have over two full stacks of 762s now um all right, and then let's put um, let's put that guy in there and that guy in there. I'm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, the other stack of 7.62s in there because, again, I'm, I'm really usually only using the AKs for emergency situations. We're mostly using the shotgun and the 9mm. So uh, we'll keep that full stack of 9mm, and I'm going to... I'm gonna probably keep. Well, you know what? Yeah, let's just let's just take a stack of of shotties uh, too. That should last us. I'm thinking that it will. Uh, all right. Let's see what else. Uh, I made a whole bunch of uh, first aid kits and bandages. We got the schematic for both of those in the bookstore. So we've got a full thing of first aid there, and I think I'm gonna bring the two small ones <clears throat> with me too for the for the next road trip. Uh, we need a co a cooking pot, of course. Uh, we got a full stack of pain pills, so we're good there. Uh, let's see. For food, we got seven bacon and eggs, which is really nice. Um, so let's take... I don't know. Let's take about four of those with us. And I suppose we could take vitamins too, but I don't know. we we got to be really careful with our space, as always, when we're traveling like this. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll go with four, and we'll probably find you know some food along the way uh, too. As far as drink goes, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the yucca juice back in here, and we're going to take a full stack of normal water, which I guess we have to make. Just because I want to, you know, uh, yucca juice is a little better than water, but I want to take a full stack with me is the thing. So let's go ahead and do bottled water here. All right. And then I've got more gunpowder uh, cooking up in here. We got 200 more there, so let's see. What do we want to do that? Let's turn those, I think, into more nines. There we go. So we made another 297 bullet casings. I'm in the process of, of um, smelting uh, more clay and more lead that we got from our mine down below. That gets us back up to over a thousand bullet casings, and then we'll have tons of bullet tips by the time we are ready to, uh, you know, to make those as well. Uh, I now have a blue wrench because when you hit level, uh, when you hit level four in salvage operations, you can make uh, what are the quality? Yeah, quality five great wrenches. Okay, so now we have a blue wrench there. What, you know, we might, I don't know, I, I'm thinking at some point I'm going to get Gunslinger up pretty high too, and then we can make, you know, a nice high quality SMG. But I don't know, I, I'm thinking strength is probably going to serve us better at this point in time, getting this up, because, I mean, there's four things in here we want to get. We want to get Boomstick, Skull Crusher, Sexy T, now five things actually, yeah, 69er and Motherload. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff in here that we want to get for strength. Um, so I probably will, when we get the next level here, um, I'm going to go ahead and take Gunslinger 1, but then we're going to go back uh, to the Strength Tree, and we're going to really focus on getting the Strength Tree up. And once we can get Boomstick, you know, to even to level 4, we can make, um, probably even at level 3, I, I would consider it make a pump shotgun. Uh, well, you know what, though? I think we have to, we still have to find the schematic for that, too. So, yeah, okay, we got to find the schematic for that. All right, um, I think we're ready to go. So the plan is that we're going to uh, we're going to head northeast. So I, I put kind of a, a little red marker up in the northeast corner, so we have a general you know direction to follow. Not that that matters because we can just follow the compass, but uh, we'll do that. 
and uh, see if we can find that green biome. All right, let's do this. Make sure everybody's loaded up here. Oh, got to wait for it to fully load. I can't tell you how many times this game has got me gotten me on that. Um, let's put a couple things in the mini bike too. So we got the full stack of gasoline. Uh, we'll put the auger in there. We want to probably keep the hammer on our inventory. Let's put the wrench in there and the shovel in the cooking pot. Oh, we got to get our water. I'm glad I noticed that. <laughs> I didn't want to get halfway across the country and not have our water with us. That would suck. There we go. Okay, so we got a full stack of water. Once we find the green bomb, you know, we'll have plenty of, uh, well, I'm assuming anyways, that we'll have plenty of, you know, uh, chrysanthemum and stuff around, so we'll start doing red tea and all that, but right now, I'm just really being conservative with that stuff. Okay, so northeast it is. Let's do this. We're heading off this direction now. I, I spent a lot of time back over in this area yesterday, wrenching cars, chopping trees down, that sort of thing, and I never did find that damn drop. So only God knows where the hell it went, but I wasn't able to find it. Okay, so we're going to head on out this way. So now we are back into... Uh, exploration mode, which means we're going to be really conservative about what we loot. We will definitely harvest rattlesnakes and bird's nests, but I'm not going to I'm not going to get too crazy with with cars and stuff like that. One of you guys uh, were asking me in the comments. I think it was Lusk Sepulveda was asking me in the comments about being on a vehicle in the wasteland uh, with landmines. Put the wrong gun on my toolbar. And um, the thing about the landmines is I've noticed that if you um, if you're going fast, especially if you're going fast and you run over one you know, on a, on a, on a vehicle, you get, you run over it and you set it off and it, it makes like this little clicking noise and about a second, maybe a little less than a second later, it, it actually detonates. But by that time, you know, you've already driven over it and you're, you know, a few feet beyond it. So yeah, you take a little bit of splash damage, but it doesn't actually, you know, seem to do a lot of severe damage uh, from what I've seen. Now, if you were going really slow, or if you actually parked on one, that would be a different story, of course. But, um, you know, as long as you're moving, it's not. it doesn't seem to be really bad with the landmines. Now, it never used to be that way. I remember running over landmines several alphas ago and it killing me, you know, even on a mini bike. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be the case anymore, uh, na you know, here and now. So what what's more dangerous with being on a vehicle in the wasteland is the damn buzzards. I mean, that's... You know, because you guys have already seen, you know, if you've been watching me all along, you've, you've already seen what it's like. It's just, they are all over the place. You see here, this one's coming in to get a piece of us right now. <laughs> he got so close, I disintegrated him. Oh, you want some too, eh? Oh, nice. Uh, we're going to scrap that, and I'm not even going to take this. Well, should we? I'm not planning on doing baseball bats. I've heard the baseball bats, if you you know, if you level that skill up, they're actually pretty damn good. I've never actually tried them. I guess we'll keep those for now, but if we end up needing, you know, to make some space, that's probably gonna go. I don't know, we'll see. Whoop. Okay. Now, you know, I I could be I could be mistaken about the landmines, but I've run over, I don't know, three or four in this series. You know, while I was on the mini bike, and in all cases, 
I just took a little bit of damage. It wasn't significant at all. Because I was moving, you know, so... I'm not going to deliberately test that theory, but you know me. <laughs> We're going to be running over more, whether I want to or not. It's just the way it goes. You can't... They're so hard, you know, to spot all the time. I, I try and keep a lookout for them, but... It's just, uh... You know, sometimes you just don't see them. That's all there is to it. Okay, so let's see. There's a road down there. But it's going more to the east-southeast. In fact, that's the road. Yeah, we've been on that road before. Uh, so we're not going to take it. We're going to keep going cross... <coughs> Excuse me. Gazuntite cross country. Oh, man. Look at that big crevasse. All right, let's get around that thing. We have, have another buzzard attack here. Ah, shit. God damn it. You too, huh? Okay, both of you guys are pissing me off. I'm just saying. These guys are a lot harder to hit than you'd think because they bounce up and down. You too, huh? Didn't I just kill you? What the hell? Man, kids these days, I'll tell you what. Okay. Um, anyway. <laughs> what what the hell were we even talking about? Oh, yeah, the buzzards, man. They, they, like, bounce up and down when they're in your face. They're so hard to hit. I mean, when they're coming at you in a line, super easy to hit. But, man, if they get up in your face... It is, uh, it's a different story. You know what I forgot to do? Dog, caught it. I forgot to bring my honey with me. All right, well, if we get infected, we're going to have to go straight back home. That's all there is to it. All right, let's take this guy right now. Since we got a pounding there from the damn buzzard. And, uh, let's see. We're going, we're heading that direction. Okay, let's do it. Where's my bike at? Bike, bike, bike. Here we go. Make sure everything's loaded. That needs more loading. Okay, pistol's good. All right, here we go. So yeah, we're just gonna head, whoa. Uh, right on out into the wild uh, wasteland yonder here. And uh, maybe we'll get lucky and, and run into a road. If not, then we'll just stay, stay cross country. Well, until we get to a damn mountain range, anyway. Hmm... Okay, let's let's think about this for a minute. I think what we'll probably do is go Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go this way. And see if there's any kind of a pass through here. Oh shit. Edgar, how could you not see me? You dumbass. That doesn't look like much of a pass, does it? Alright, let's deal with this guy. Okay, let's think about this for a second. If we go up this way, we're kind of going back to territory we've already been to. 
I mean, I suppose you could say the same thing for over here too, but we're ultimately trying to get over here. And I know that, you know, there's this mountain range. In fact, this might be the same range all the way over now, now that I think about it. Um, so I think what we're going to, what we're going to do, how much shit do we have on the bike? Let's take a look at that. I mean, we could, we could pick the bike up and just wade across the water and climb up the other side and then go on from there. Maybe we'll do that. Let's do that. I'm going to be a bit encumbered, but... Oh, maybe I'm not. Nope, we're not encumbered. We're good. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. Let's um, let's cross the river. And we'll go on up the other side. Probably right there we can get up, I'm guessing. One thing about this particular wasteland map is, man, there, there's been water, lots of water on it. I'm thinking maybe, you know, if I do this again with nit nitrogen, I might tell it to chill out on the water just because, I don't know, it seems like the wasteland shouldn't have that much water in it. Alright, hopefully this flattens out a little bit up through here. We need to find another valley. Okay, yeah, there's a valley in there. Boy, I'll tell you what, though, I'm not seeing any green biome in there. Okay, so, let's see. We have the gasoline in there. We have that in there, that in there. Uh, let's go ahead and... Take a pill, and then we'll drink this. I had something else in the bike too, but I don't remember what it was. I usually have on there. I guess we'll put the axe. No, let's put the spear down there. Okay, that buzzer's gonna attack us. Oh man, this isn't much of a valley, is it? Hmm. That doesn't look very traversable. That is a very, either a big ass river or a big ass lake. One or the other. Alright. We're not harvesting, harvesting birds right now. I've got tons of bones and tons of feathers. And, you know, starting to get a nice little collection of spoiled meat back at the base, so. Alright, let's go this way. Wow, okay. Um, so... I'm thinking it is very unlikely that we're going to find green biome to the north of this location. Whoa. Yeah, that's not a landmine. Because 
let's go look at this. So if we um if we if we look north, those mountains are quite a ways away from us. And you know that this is probably about the end of the border here. So I'm thinking those mountains are probably right around in here. And there's not going to be a green biome on the other side of that, unless it's super, super small. I have no idea how large that green biome is, by the way. I asked Harry to make it kind of small, but not like, you know, not like super, super small. I mean, it's got to be big enough to have a town in it and a trader and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it is very unlikely we're going to find a green biome to the north. Um, and even, you know, even looking to the northeast... My god, man, that is a that's a that lake is so enormous. And you figure you get to the other end of the lake, then you've got the mountain range. You know, so we're probably talking about the mountain range right in here. Uh, there's still quite a bit of map after that. There could be a green biome that way. But we're going to have to go south to go east or more specifically northeast. I mean, good lord, that would take me quite some time to get across there if I swam it. And then, you know, we'd have to get up through the mountain somehow to get to the other side. And that's even due east, too. We're really trying to go that direction. The question, though, is, is it worth it for us... To cross back over, drive all the way back down here and around to go up. Um, as opposed to just going on foot, you know, to get past that that range. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking maybe we go on foot. Really? I didn't know those guys fought each other. Are you shitting me? The businessman killed the bear? No way! Wow. I wouldn't have thunk. I didn't even know those guys fought each other. I thought they were both in the zombie faction. He's just a normal zombie. I bet the bear wasn't attacking him. He was probably hung up on something. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go. Let's let's hoof this. Let's hoof it. Oh, you know what? We might actually be able to... We might be able to ride around this. I don't know... I don't know how far the lake goes around this bend. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. We can ride around it. Good thing we have lots of 9 mil ammo, huh? Okay. Let's go around this direction. We want to go right up through here. Oh, I found another treasure map, too. It's Stefan's treasure map. It's activated, but it went... It basically was right going right back in the direction of the... the city we were in, you know, where the cathedral was and stuff. All right, let's uh let's check this car. I will take that. I will not take that. Well, actually here we should scrap that. Scrap doodle do. Looks like there might be a road over there. Yep, there is. Okay. Leave me alone, biker. 
All right, so this is going off to the east. Oh man, wherever that drop is, it's a long ways off. But it looks like it starts curving to the northeast. So let's just kind of follow this road for a ways and see what happens. Lots of wasted wasteland. <laughs> wasted wasteland. Some lootable cars there. Got some meat. Nice headshot. Too bad we don't have any skills in this yet. We will, though. As soon as we level, we're going to take the first level on pistols. Alright, where's my machete? There's a couple of transformers with potential steel but you know I don't think I'm gonna mess with that right now I we will I will grab the backpacks though see look at that that was worth it uh, X There we go. Right in the noggin. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Would you die please? Good lord. Make me shoot up half my, my 7.62 just to kill your ass. Okay. Well, since we went to the effort, we might as well harvest the guy, right? Maybe someday I'll come back for these. I'm not going to mess with them right now. We actually have a nice little pile of steel back at the base because I hit all the ones, you know, near the base. We don't need nitrate. We got tons of nitrate. Oh, well, let's get rid of that too. And we do have a lot of room on the bike to store stuff. So let's see. Uh, let's put the duct tape and the vitamins in there. And the fat... Uh, I think we'll keep everything else in our inventory for now. We are 102 of 28. Let's, uh, let's put one of these away. We could stand to drink, too. Okay, let's keep going. Looks like we may have found another town. And some blueberries too. And lots of corn. Tons of corn.
Okay, we got a highway going off that direction. Do we have more food? Yep, we sure do. Edgar, are you going to come all the way over here? Looks like you are. Edgar's lying on our dinner. Oh, okay. I knew I needed to load one of these guns. I wasn't sure which one was. You know what? Maybe there isn't a, a town out here. Maybe it's just a bunch of POIs. Come on, man. There's a bar over there. Let's avoid him. He takes too much ammo to kill. Another snake. Let's get rid of that. Let's put the meat in there and the fat. Uh, not as good as what we have. It's got more durability, but it hardly matters. Hardly matters. Okay. So, I would say we are at the end of the map. Or at least as far north as we can go this direction. I think there's a town over there. I think that's just a bunch of POIs. And even if there is, I mean, there's no green biome, so I kind of don't care. <laughs> Let, let's, I'll tell you what, here, where are we at, by the way? Okay. We're, there's still quite a bit more land to the east. Very unlikely there's any green biome there, but you know what I want to do? Let's let's just go down this road real quick. I just want to make sure that this isn't in fact a town. I don't think it is, but let's just double check. Yeah, no, see it's just It's just some POIs. It's not definitely not a town. I don't, I'm well, here let's go a little further. <laughs> I can't say for 100% certainty. If it is a town, it's a really small town. Yeah, no, there's no town over here. Oh! See what I mean? We were going at full speed, so that didn't... That didn't even give us a little splash damage there. Oh! Buzz off, buzzard. Did 
I hear another buzzard? Yeah, here he comes. There's a locker. Oh, no, guess not. Looked lootable from over there. Shoot you right in the nuts. Okay, where'd that buzzer go? There he is. And those guys are hard to hit. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so we confirmed that this is not a town. So let's keep heading east. Nice headshot. <laughs> you too, Nurse Nancy. Hey, where's my snake? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> Hold still, homie. There we go. Huh, okay. Let's make sure we're loaded up. New Life Hope Cabin. Huh. Is that like some kind of church retreat, retreat place or something, maybe? I don't think I've ever been in that uh, POI. Okay, let's he keep heading east. So this is the road we came up. Does it continue on? Oh, it does. Okay. Well, not for very long. <laughs> not for very long at all. Are you going to attack buzzards or not? All right. Well, guys, I think um, we're going to go and wrap up the episode here. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep heading east. And um, <clears throat> I might I might do a little bit of exploring off camera, just because here again I don't want to I don't want to bore you with too much of the same old same old here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep heading east for a while, and then you know when it feels like it's the right time to do so. Uh, we'll start the next episode and then we'll we'll go from there. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.